Also, I was scoping, oh, out, the, cool. I was scoping out the potential hotel that you guys are going to be at. So. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> the one that uh, Johnny's mom said? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I actually suggested a different one. So it's going to be oh, you out did? in the middle right. of country. In the country. There's not going to be anything near it. You guys are going to be. Fuck high, you. <laughs> high crime rate. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, weird. Uh, it's out in the middle of the country, but it's 100% crime. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's really strange. Welcome back to Anime Casuals. I am Lucky. Here I go! This hand of mine is burning red! And I'm Michael. Realize the only ones who should kill are those who are prepared to be killed. Johnny. Your darkness swallowed up my son? Who decided that? Opting! Burning! Now all of you. Die. Die. What? What's happening, everybody? <laughs> Welcome up back to Anime Casuals. I am Lucky. Uh, uh, Michael. I'm Johnny. How dare you? Don't go with <laughs> a stick. How dare you? Anyway, guys, we are Anime Casuals. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I think I was trying to do something animal-like, and I, yeah, I could have probably done like something like that. But uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, guess. yeah, that that makes a little bit more sense. This is more like yeah, a I duck, I guess. But dude, quiet coyote, bro, quiet coyote. Oh. That was the thing. Like I was like, you guys took both of the main. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Johnny just goes like this. Silence. Or you do that. Don't see monkey. <laughs> oh my god, dude! All I all I see when I see that is like Pan's Labyrinth. You know that guy's like. <laughs> oh dude i fucking hate that guy too luckily we're not talking about him we're talking about our favorite animal <laughs> companions in anime so pets and i guess we could be as liberal as we want with this but uh yeah you want to go and take sure. this away uh michael since you're the one that suggested it yeah uh i'm gonna start with my first one and it's probably the greatest and can't be argued with number one I of any <laughs> animal companion it's gotta be Pokemon. All the Pokemon oh, in the oh. world have to be 100% your favorite animal companion, unless you hate Pokemon. Dude, what's there to go wrong with Pokemon? Would you not just want a big Dragonite chilling out with you, or a talking Meowth, or the most lovable, unkillable Pikachu that ever existed? You can't go wrong with Pokemon. I also find it funny because I constantly forget Pokemon's an anime. <laughs> 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 That's very true. I... All right, video over. Good job, guys. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <I mean, that's, laughs> anyway. uh, that's a good one. Uh, my first pick is going to be, uh, I don't remember the name, but it is a giant turtle. Well, actually, it's just a regular turtle that the main character oh, from uses Bo a, Yeah, Bo Fury <laughs> uses a, um, <laughs> like an ability on to make it enormous, like big enough to ride. And then it, I don't remember what else she does, but it shoots a giant laser. So it's yeah. this giant turtle flying around, shooting lasers everywhere. Is that the Shield awesome. Girl anime? Yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, it is. The, she's broken. And Rising she's broke of the, the Shield Girl. The gotcha. Game. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> so that turtle is just fantastic, and I love seeing it every time, just flying in the air like a terrible monster fortress. Oh, that's so, pretty yeah. good. That's pretty good. Nice. Uh, I think you know. I gotta go with. <laughs> I gotta go with the one that uh, probably made me laugh. Mm, okay. Is arguably one of the funniest ones on this list a for the animation and b for like the random he, he just seems so human in a lot of ways his guts from uh from kill a kill <laughs> because he's such a yeah he's such a weird dog that like even when like uh ryoko is like you know doing obviously you know whenever she's like changing or anything like that like I, I just remember in like the second episode or something like that, her dad and the brother and the dog are all in like this car trying to like help her out and shit. But every single time she ends up like accidentally stripping down to something, and then like the dad will run into something because he's looking at her, and then eventually the dog looks at her the same way too. It's like oh, and it's crashed into something. <laughs> I was like, you know, some a lot of times these animals act as like an extra like. Uh, use for something, but in Guts's case, he's just extra comedy for already comedic family, which is all Mako's family. Like Mako's family yeah. is fucking ridiculous in this anime. So of course you need a ridiculous fucking dog, and obviously he looks fucking ridiculous as well. So yeah, I I love Guts. Also, I love the name. Okay, Guts is my favorite 
<laughs> male protagonist. He's also a really cool dog, so <laughs> works out. Also, I do name my all of my dogs in, uh, or I named my dog in Dragon Age Origins uh, guts all the time. So my Mabari, <laughs> Mabari uh, Hellhound, or whatever the fuck you call him, so Warhound. So. <laughs> uh, Fun fact. That's hilarious. <laughs> and every time he's always like. Hoo, ha, hoo, ha. <laughs> Um, so my next one, so we have like animal companions dating like forever ago, right? Like you have, uh, Khan from like bleach, which isn't really an animal. It's just a stuffed animal. Um, you have, uh, you have Akimaru from, you know, Naruto, but one of my favorites was one that's only in like a couple episodes, but it emotionally hit me pretty hard. And that's Laboon from One Piece. Oh, Laboon. That's a good one. Um, like I, I earlier just made a list of a bunch of them that I could like remember. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna shrink that down. And I was like, Laboon, he stands out to me because of how emotional this like relationship with a whale was to like two full crews of people. It was to for to Brooke technically first, and then to uh, I think to Gold Rogers crew, right? Yeah, that's what the I think, I think that's why the doctor ended up with them. Yeah, and like to two whole groups of pretty important people, like during the adventure of One Piece, and there's still like a promise between Luffy tied back to this whale, going, "Hey, we're gonna sail around the entire world and come back to you," and I'm just. Like a part of me is just silently waiting for Brooke to finally see Laboon again, because I feel like that's going to be an overly emotional episode where he's crying his tears out of his bones. And it's just going to be like flashbacks of him with the doctor and the whale. And then like Brooke's crew and the, and the mm-hmm. whale. And I'm like, Oh, it's going to be so emotional. And the whole time watching this whale, like this never give up attitude from an animal that can't speak. Oh, I, you know, it's just like, it just hits you right, you know, right in the heart. And you don't really see that a ton with animals in anime, unless the anime is about animals. So something I really enjoyed yeah. from One Piece. Kind of the same vein. I hope, uh, I, I would kind of like to see those, uh, what are they, the fighting dugongs, I think. Those, <laughs> see those Luffy things again? Are. Yeah, I want to see them like come back. They go hockey and just start beating everything up. It'd be great. <laughs> But I, I don't know. That's a stretch. I'm just saying. It'd be cool. Hey, can uh, we get those monkeys back, too, that Zoro fought? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, these, yeah oh animal terrible. army. We got Laboon. We got the fighting dugongs. We got the crazy baboons. Mm-hmm. from And those fucking animals that Luffy beat the shit out of on that island for all those years with, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with Rayleigh. <laughs> yeah. That'd be yeah pretty, that he made that'd friends actually, with. Yeah, that'd be actually pretty dope. Wow. Okay, dude, we we write Oda this said. ourselves. That's dude. a prediction. Fuck. Soft prediction. Oda, Oda, take a break, bro. We got you yeah. for the rest of the series. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my uh, my second choice. Um, I honestly I don't really know why. I it's not a particularly fond character of mine. Now that I think about it, but uh, it's Happy. I think it's Happy from Fairy Tale. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Funny enough, I don't know when I just thought of who popped in my mind, and Happy was there, and he just seems like a fun. He's a funny character, and I don't know. I know that he came from an egg, I think, yeah. and that's weird. He's a bird cat or not. Yeah, yeah. so that's it's crazy. So I don't know. He's just interesting character. Popped in my head. Can I throw out some other cats real quick? And I hope they're not on your list. Uh, can I just throw out Corin and Poir nice. as almost used as side characters? That's the rest of my list. Thanks. <laughs> one thing you know it's funny i was i was gonna add happy to my list because dude towards the, the the second season bro he gets fucking savage dude there's this part where urza has like this heartbreaking moment with the guy that she likes and like you know the guy leaves and she's walking on the beach and happy's like hey urza Look what I drew. And like when she looks down, it's a picture of a broken heart on the beach. And I was like, bro, <laughs> fucking happy is too fucking brutal, dude. He be- he becomes really fucked up towards the end of this series, dude. And he's That's just been good. doing zingers like this for fucking I was like, bro, happy's a lot better than he used to be. Before he was just, hi, sir. And now he's just like, hey, wow. bitch, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, I you know what? I, I have to go with this one. Is is one of my favorite 
cats in anime and funny enough he's not he has a whole episode dedicated to him but he's not actually a prominent member of this anime it is nyanko big from tata kun never falls in love which is an anime about a guy falling in love with a foreigner but he he ends up he has a cat that is at his you know at his place called nyanko big who he also calls a notorious cat for obvious reasons and so he, he ends up just taking random pictures of it and he has a blog called notorious cat where like you know Nyanko Big just goes to random places, and he's also this fat fucking cat. But in the second, uh, no, maybe third or fourth episode, he gets like his own episode where he has like this deep, like jazzy voice. It's like I'm Nyanko Big, yo, and just starts like talking <laughs> about his old old history with the place, about like how he's grown up, grown up with these people, uh, how he he doesn't think he has a weight problem. Uh, also, he he ends up trying to get after this cat. That's that's uh, part of like a she's a cat at another like at a like a salon place or something like that because of course she is and you know he ends up making like random treks around there to try and get some pussy but you know yeah you get it but anyway uh, yeah dude fucking Yanko Big bro the notorious C A T one of my favorite cats not very shown in the anime not shown in the anime a whole lot but with a name like Nyanko Big I mean it's just I can't believe I forgot it bro I had to look it up I was like what the fuck is this cat's name and I thought it was like I thought it was Big Cat or something like that I was like nah it's Nyanko Big y'all it's Nyanko Big what's the anime called again sorry uh, Tata Kun Never Falls in Love okay yeah so add it to your it. list <laughs> all right so mine's a huge throwback to a I think before I was born anime um this is to Magic Knight Ray Earth, which is a story about four girls who go on a very stereotypical adventures and find robots. Uh, typical like RPG, JRPG adventure. Girl falls in, gets magic armor, gets magic powers, and then goes off to save a fantasy world. Um, and they each have a color and they all get <laughs> elemental powers. But in this, there is a little bunny that hops around that's also in the video game for Magic Knight Ray Earth called Makona. Uh, this is basically like kind of looks like a Chansey, but bunny. And um, it has a big red jewel on its forehead. And this thing has some magic powers. <clears throat> the magic powers is that the red jewel on its forehead can store almost an infinite amount of things. And so uh, essentially for these four girls who are adventuring through this world, it stores their armor, their weapons. It can also summon like a tiny house that they can sleep in safely. And I'm like, dude, this bunny rocks. It got it has everything. It has it's got it's got room and board. It's got food. It's got your magic weapons you need to carry. And it's also super adorable. It makes like the like stereotypical like anime cute bunny sounds. And it just hops around. And it's very fluffy. Uh, and this was one like my first instances with an animal companion because this thing didn't speak, didn't really have an action, but it was like one of the most useful things in all the anime besides the giant robots. So, you know, props out to Makona because I I know we all wish we had our own Makona because then we wouldn't have to pay for rooms or we'd always be safe and it would carry our food and water. And then, you know, Lucky could be dieting perfectly because he's just like, what? Yo, bunny, give me some food. Can and I answer the bunny? Yeah, it would make him his oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to look into this technology. Elon Musk, get on it. <laughs> oh, dude, cheat day would be exciting. That would be, it would be, I would have to leave my room, bro. I'd be like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> chop, chop. And then you would just have it summon a, your own room, and then you would sleep in there. Nobody would bother you. <laughs> this is wow. dangerous technology. I'd never leave my room. I'd never <laughs> leave my room again. <laughs> Two questions. Can they go in the bunny? Yeah. Okay. And did you know that's on Verve? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. But I will have to. You know what? Future video idea. <laughs> I'll dive that. <gasps> okay. Never mind. Uh, I'll save it for later. <laughs> <clears throat> well. Um. So my next uh, pick is going to be Terry Cloth from Toriko. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I didn't even think. Wow, of, you I didn't think of Toriko when I don't think of Toriko. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um. And I. First off, all the companions in that one, you know. Um. I don't actually remember the Raven's name. I, f I feel like I had it's it like, a second ago, but like now I King don't. Raven or something. I don't remember its name, Ki but I know Kiss. it. That's Kiss. What it is. Yeah, there Kiss. 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 But the Kiss, uh, the Snake. I'm not even gonna try and remember that name, but they're snake. all really cool. But Terry Cloth, I think, is uh, <laughs> a step above that. And then Zebra gets like a crazy giant thing that, for no reason. 
Is it a zebra? Am I wrong? Yeah, it's a zebra horse. Yeah, it's a giant zebra horse. <laughs> it's a zebra horse. <laughs> so weird. Uh, uh, but Terry Cloth, just because, I mean, technically Terry Cloth is a clone, and I think that's really cool that, and I don't know, maybe that's more props to whoever cloned Terry Cloth, but it's cool that it came from that kind of origin, and especially with such a hard upbringing immediately after, you know, being born and everything with its mother, though, at the same time, I guess that's how it would have life would have gone progressively anyway they like hey i love you love you too okay bye but i uh, you know it's still uh it's cool that tank cloth has really become a crazy battle wolf so that's what i went with tank cloth yeah nice Could have been a better name personally <laughs> i actually i i remember when i figured out what a, a terry cloth was after that i actually didn't know what the fuck it was and i was like what is this? And then I, it's I looked a towel. It up. Yeah, <laughs> it's just well, a towel. Well, it's fun. It's funny. I I used to work at Home Depot. and We used to sell ter- Terry towels, but I never heard it called like Terry cloth and shit. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> terry towel makes yeah, me terry, terry towel doesn't, Yeah, Terry towel doesn't really doesn't work out. It's too a well. Terry towel. <laughs> uh, my next Don't pick is terry's that's Terry's towel. <laughs> the next pick I gotta choose is okay. It's it, I was really torn between two of these. I I. I'm torn between Agumon and Guillemon, and the the <laughs> the problem is I don't remember a lot of Guillemon. I'll be real with you. The only thing I remember is him saying "Tecato man," that kind of shit, and uh, being voiced That's by Steve. About Bloom. half the dialogue right there. Yeah, and but I did like the anime a lot because you know him and uh, you know that Digi Modify bullshit that that they introduced for the first time, where you actually get to see like the 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 two of them come together for a for a fight, which I think is really cool. Whereas, you know, when Ty was doing doing all that stuff with Agumon, typically he was the one, you know, like, hey, let's go, let's do this, let's do that, and, you know, all that kind of shit. Like a typical Pokemon trainer. Um, but then again, I mean, I don't know, man. Agumon was the OG, and it's hard to argue with his impact on Digimon in, de- in general. You know, he is... I don't even want to say he's a Pikachu of... Because po- Pokemon is, has milked that Pikachu thing for a long time. It's, it's milked that Pikachu tit for a long yeah. time bro it's yeah. milked it for a while and uh but you know agumon is pretty close i mean plus i mean i just remember i still fucking remember his fucking att- i mean when they when they did the reboot i was like what the hell baby flame the fuck i just remember <laughs> pepper breath you know that kind of shit it's a yeah. pepper breath you know i was like oh shit That's yeah, what I missed too. and he had that really like high-pitched voice ty what's wrong you know i was oh. like <laughs> yeah dude dude he was such a, he was like the kindest dinosaur but then once he turns into that skull freak then he goes fucking crazy but uh yeah i i, I had trouble i think i choose okay, guillemon I, ch- I think i choose guillemon a little bit over agumon but mm-hmm. i think that's more of a recency bias because i that was the most recent one that i watched besides the yeah. the digimon 2020 uh so you want to go into a lightning round real quick michael and uh yeah yeah off the rest of um these? so we'll go real quick I had a lot of lists. Chopper was on that list. Um, Ayn from Cowboy Bebop. Uh, I had um, the little cat from uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, uh, Gigi. Uh, a lot of them are like little personality. I think my next big one would have been a B- Black Hayate from oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, yeah don't look up. It was like that tiny dog that was always super adorable at all times. Yeah. And, I saw like several memes of this, but I was like that time where someone shoots at Black Hayate and it goes like it puts its paws up and the bullets go right around the dog because it's like trying to be like not shot. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And then I I have a lot more on the list. Um, Hawk, Puck, uh, Akimaru, I talked about him, but I guess my last big one would be Blair from Soul Eater. Um, Blair is a like spirit of a cat. Uh, who also transforms into a very sexy, attractive woman who constantly tries to sleep with, um, uh, what's his name? Soul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and is constantly like, oh, there's a big naked cat here. <laughs> and it was like the only character in all of that was that was like, well, she's a cat who's also a witch. Well, everybody else was a witch who's also their animal. Yeah, she's weird. I don't <laughs> yeah, she was. She like, was just a magic cat. A little bit of a unique case. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, you guys are just trying to make a point that she's a cat. You guys can calm down. We all know she's a witch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Johnny. Anything right. left on your list? <clears throat> Actually, yeah, uh, I got a couple. <laughs> all right. There was an so my list there. Shut up. You don't know. Us. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So my first uh lightning round pick is going to be uh this little snowman guy 
His name is Plu. And again, oh, I don't yeah. know why I really chose him other than he's just in my brain. I remember I've never seen this anime other than, I guess, just random scenes with this little dude. But I guess it's from Rave Masters. And I don't know if that's like a break off of Fairy Tale or something. It is not. He's actually from Fairy Tale. He is. I tried he, to he look in, it up, and I was in so fairy lost. Tale. Yeah, he is, he's one of uh, Lucy's uh, celestial spirits. Oh, you okay. talking about the little the little snowman with the or not? He's not even snowman. He's like a little. Yeah, no, he's got a little yeah. cone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just kind of looks like a snowman. Yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, he Wait, comes uh, in. He comes in a little bit. So. <laughs> oh my god, that's how. How long has Fairy Tale been around? What? What's going on? It's, I saw that years ago. Like yeah. that's crazy. I mean, that was. It's also like 350 episodes. I believe it's over though. Fairy Tale's over. Yeah, right? it's over. Yeah. Let's hope yeah. it is. I ain't gonna fucking put any more. Any it's more like around into this. 10 though. That's so many years ago. That's why I'm so. Confused. I mean, Fairy Tale's oh, already whatever. really old. So. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm gonna let my brain rest from it. Sorry, that's not a lightning round. Uh, next <laughs> one is gonna be Icarus from. Um, I think it's Icarus from. I, it might have been one of the Dragon Ball Z movies, but I thought he shows up a little bit in Dragon Ball Z. He's this purple dragon guy that hangs out with Gohan and uh, rides him. He's kind of like Gohan's oh, uh, Nimbus shit. in a way. Yeah. And uh, see, that's the thing. I feel like nobody remembers Icarus anymore, but he was this cool dragon dude. Yeah, the pink dragon, Gohan right? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, fuck, And dude. I think he was in the, um, the Garlic Jr. movie. Yeah. Uh, dude, what the fuck? The, the, the bad water. Oh, fuck craziness. you, Johnny. Get this out of my head. <laughs> So, yeah, Icarus, and then um, oh, wow. I need to give a shout out for uh, Oslo from uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty tragic, and also really nice. Uh, I guess story of how he got kind of got reincarnated, and um, he was that nice shot with Dan, and uh, yeah, Oslo was just cool. He was a crazy portal. So yeah, Oslo and Appa. Wait, no, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> more like Napa. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Momo, bro. Wow, no, bro. no. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say that more like Momo. <laughs> was that all yours, Johnny? Yeah, that's all it. right. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, Michael already mentioned Akamaru. Uh, Nero from Black Clover. She's this little bird that uh, these little anti yeah. anti magic birds that like they go after anything that's that doesn't have mana and or that it that has low mana and all of them are all over fucking Asta all the time whenever <laughs> yeah. he goes somewhere and one of them just decides to stick to him which you figure out a little bit later why that is it uh, looks so weird <laughs> yeah she, she's always on top of his fucking head like all the fucking yeah. time so uh but yeah uh Chomsky from uh Konosuba who's uh Chomsky! yeah who's from who's uh fucking the Megami cat. familiar yeah dude yeah. Yeah, dude. It's one of the most adorable little fucking pieces of shit I've ever seen, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, you'd mentioned Puck from Ray Zero. Um, oh, Sadaharu. This is a weird one. He's he's this gigantic fucking dog from Gintama who uh, Kagura has. <clears throat> She's one of the main characters there. And I had to look up how big he was because I was like, I wonder if there's actually measurements for him. There are. Uh, so this dog is a giant. And by the way, he looks like a puppy, but not dimensionally wise. <laughs> he's five foot seven, 661 pounds. He's a gigantic dog. Who everybody like he's always he always has somebody in his mouth or something like that and just does random shit. But he is a really cool dog uh, and adds a lot to the comedy. I was gonna put Elizabeth on here, but I don't know what the fuck Elizabeth is. Elizabeth is this guy named Katsura's uh, giant duck kappa thing that follows him around. But there's a couple of inst- there's a couple of instances in there where it's shown that maybe there's something so there's somebody in a suit that's actually that person. But it seems like it's a joke. And they never go back to it, so I have no fucking clue. Uh, so I, did, I think that I thought that may have uh, may have disqualified it. And <laughs> can I, okay, I just want to throw this one out here. Okay, I know we're talking about anime. I I, I just I had to include this. This is this is what, uh, a show on Nickelodeon that had one of the best animal companions ever. I think we all know what it's gonna be. Three, two, one. It's Darwin from the Wild Thornberries, okay, bitch. I was about Dude, to say, Darwin, baby. I was about to fucking say. Fucking Darwin is the best fucking. The monkey I don't, from Wild Thornberries. I don't give a shit, dude. I don't give a shit what you guys are talking Anime? about, bro. Fucking Darwin <laughs> from the no, Wild. Put that down. Darwin from the Wild Thornberries hey. is the best fucking animal companion ever. I don't give a shit what you say. Fight me, bitch. Uh, dude, I'll <laughs> fight you, dude. The cat bus from Totoro is way better. <laughs> Mm. I didn't watch it. Doesn't... Ignorance, bitch! Oh, ignorance! <laughs> hey, you're ignorant. I'm ignorant. You're ignorant. I'm, why are you so you're ignorant, ignorant, bro? Uh, I think that is it. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know why, dude. The minute you mentioned this list, by the way, Michael, Darwin just immediately started coming into my mind. I was like, wow! I just <laughs> ma- imagine the English English voice and shit. I was like, 
I don't know. I always thought he was really cool. Anyway, uh, if you guys don't haven't seen that, it is on Verve. If so, if you're watching anime and shit, you know, maybe you can watch that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, remember you can check out all things casual at the link tree in the description box down below. Also, if you'd like to email us, you can email us at animecasuals with an S, real, R-E-A-L, at gmail.com. But as always, guys, don't forget to keep it casual. No, look around.